Namaste, my beautiful friends. Welcome to Yoga Bliss with Shelly. And I'm here today and I'm sending you so much love. And this practice is dedicated to bring peace. There is so much going on and I'm experiencing it firsthand here in Colorado. Going to the grocery store yesterday was a very strange experience with people in masks and gloves and the shelves are ravaged and there's no toilet paper and my family of five is down to, I think we have about five rolls of toilet paper. And it's very weird and it's strange and there's a lot going on. So this practice, my friends, is dedicated to you to help bring inner peace to you. And knowing that when we bring something within ourselves, it vibrates around us. So when we bring peace to us, we are actually bringing peace to the world. I am here with my Chihuahua Ch Terrier Joy. My kids are here, obviously, because there's no school in Colorado now until April 17th. I light this candle in honor of you, of your complete mind, body, and soul. And together, may this practice help bring us inner peace. I love you so much. Unroll the mat, unpeel the edges, and together, let us do this, my friends. a cozy couch blanket and a couple pillows so pause this real quick if you've got those we're gonna start out with the pillows and we're gonna put two pillows on the mat and then we're gonna sit on our sit bones and you can also use a folded blanket for this and as we begin our practice today my friends we're gonna start with this beautiful heart opening pose so what we're gonna do is just allow the back to rest and open up and just let your body drape. You can let the legs go long. You can bend them. If the head is feeling a little bit too floppy, you can grab one more pillow. So allow yourself here in this restorative fish pose. My friends, as we just allow ourselves just to show up and just know that we are here. We are exactly where we need to be. Just allow yourself just to check in and, and see how you're feeling. And if you're not comfortable, just allow your body to get as comfortable as it can, allowing the heart to just drape open. You can gently bring the shoulder blades in together. You can let the hands rest up or gently on the belly. And just allowing yourself just to be, just to show up here allowing yourself just to bring a breath that comes into that heart center and allowing it to breathe out and allowing that breath to come into the body and just allowing it to move out and as we're here my friends just acknowledge how you're feeling if there's lots of tension or unease just knowing that being a human is hard, especially right now. There is a lot of angst and overwhelm going on. And when we can take time to practice self-care, such as yoga, that we can take time to bring our inner peace, my friends. And bringing the awareness to your heart center as a beat of your heart for a moment. Maybe you can tune in to audible sound um, um, um. or you can tune into a sensation maybe a throbbing in your hands or you can bring a heart up to your chest and in this moment together let us invite the intention of peace today I bring peace today almost envisioning like a spiral spiraling around your heart and like a flashlight turning on just allowing that intention to guide you today in your practice to guide you in each and every moment my friends and bringing in a big breath into the heart center and letting that go good job my friends and for 
from here, you could just bring your elbows to the earth and just allow yourself just to roll up to a seated position. And from the seated position, we're gonna move our pillows out of the way. We have Joy over here. Joy's bringing the joy to the world. And we're bringing the peace. And from here, my friends, you can cross the legs and kind of bring the weight forward or you can bring the legs to one side and joining me in a tabletop position. And if you have that blanket or if you haven't grabbed one, grab a blanket for protection of the knee joints. And allowing yourself just to tune in and, and check into your body for a moment as we align in a tabletop position. And knowing my friends that as always that I am here as your guide and not here as like the gatekeeper of yoga that everybody is different and yoga is definitely definitely not a one size fits all my friends and from here just taking a moment to drop the navel allow the tail and the chin to journey up high to the sky as you breathe in a lengthen inhale into that heart and exhale get out and breathing in a soothing peaceful breath into your heart and allowing the peace to go. Breathing in the peace. On the exhale, allowing the spine to grow up tall like a beautiful, cute kitten stretching out in the sun. Tucking that chin in towards the tail. Breathing in a peaceful breath for yourself. Breathing a peaceful breath out to the earth. Peaceful breath into yourself. Peaceful breath out to the earth. And from here, my friends, Allowing that head to remove any wrinkles or uncurve and just allow yourself just to be and just settle here for a moment as we extend the left leg long with a micro bend to the knee and then bringing the opposite right hand to the earth almost like you're shaking hands and really tune into rooting into that left hand into the earth and feeling what it feels like so maybe you weren't aligned just breathe reposition set up wide open starfish hand really ground through the thumb pointer extend all the way through the pinky and really drawing that navel back towards the spine and from here we're going to inhale and we're going to pulse all the way up high so almost two feet off the ground inhale exhale down inhale to raise exhale to sink inhale to find strength in the glutes exhale to sink taking five of these inhale raise exhale to sink Five. Inhale to raise. Slow and steady. It's not a raise. Four. Inhale to raise. Three. Exhale to sink. Inhale to raise. Two. Exhale to sink. One. Inhale to raise. And from here, we're going to just pause on this last one and we're going to do ten pulses straight up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From here, we're going to inhale, curling in, bringing the chin in towards the midline, tucking the elbow in towards the knee and just tuning in. And if you can, really driving the heel up towards the glutes here as you pause without trying to do anything else. Breathing in a peaceful breath, even though it's kind of in a weird position and letting that go, exhaling long. So coming in for a bird dog is we're gonna inhale, tucking the elbow into the knee, exhale, finding length, inhale to tuck. Taking these slow and mindful. Exhale, finding peace even when there's movement. Almost like you're shaking hands with someone. And if you want to test your center of gravity, you could turn the palm up high to the sky and raise up a little bit here, breathing in a peaceful breath. Exhale, and then tucking it in. Taking these at your own pace. You don't even have to count, just working with the flow of the body. If it feels good for you, you can pause up at the top here and allow yourself just to find a little stillness. Maybe there's a burn in the hip, resisting the sensation, the urge to stop and allowing the inner critic, just allowing those words to float by you. Because being peaceful sometimes in moments is hard. It's hard when there's a lot going on, when our planet is suffering, when our neighbors, ourselves are confined in our homes. That's hard. Inhaling it in. Exhaling to find strength. Inhaling to find that inner strength. Exhale to find peace. 
from here, slowly allowing that down on the earth. And bringing the hands back at that tabletop position and maybe just rocking out a little bit. Woo! Feeling that in the hip flexors for me. And really rooting and grounding through the left knee and the right hand. So wide open starfish hand. Really rooting in through the pointer. The thumb and all the way to the pinky as we tone through the core by hugging the navel up towards the spine and really releasing that hind foot on the earth. And my friends, I really encourage you to invite the activation of your muscles. So really turn on from your heel. So pointing up at the heel, exhaling that left hand forward. And from here, my friends, you've got this. We're going to inhale to find peace. Exhale to find strength. Inhale, find that peace. Exhale to strengthen. Inhale, five of these. Exhale to the earth. Inhale to raise the four. Exhale down. Inhale to three. Exhale to go. Inhale to two. Exhale to the earth. Inhale on that last one, and we're going to pulse. So we're just going to softly, strengthenly, not softly, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. You've got this. 4, 3, 2, 1. Exhaling long and strong. Inhale, tucking in, bringing the opposite elbow to the opposite knee, really working that high heel up towards the glutes as we pause here to find inner peace. Exhale to find that peace. Inhale, finding peace can be hard sometimes. Exhale, knowing that it's out there. Exhaling long and strong, taking 10 of these at your own pace. Finding that inner strength inner peace when we take time for us we take time to clear pathways when we take time to disconnect from media and the world around us we can find that inner peace I know for me when I'm engulfed in all of it it just it, it spirals it's like a downward spiral wherever you are I'm on four we've got this exhale to find that inner strength and peace inhale in and exhale in long two more you've got this finding that peace Inhaling it long and strong, slowly flowing to the earth. From here, my friends, bringing big toes, touching big toes, opening up the knees wide. And depending on the restrictions or mobility or lack of in the hips, you might need to find your friend the pillow. And you can put this right here underneath of the bend of the knees and driving those sit bones all the way down to the earth. And you can allow the arms to lay long and strong for a balasana or bhaktasana. Devotional pose is arms long. Or you can tuck the arms underneath my friends here for a child's pose. And just allow yourself to just settle. Settle with the energy. Settle with the beat of the heart. And coming back to that intention. Coming back to that we intend to bring the peace today. We intend peace. And repeating within your mind, I am peace. I am peace. I am peace. Now whispering on your lips so you can hear, I am peace. I am peace. I am peace. Now speaking from the the back of your heart. I am peace. I am peace. Good job. One more. I am peace. Wonderful work, my friends. From here, bringing the palms to the earth, almost under the shoulders, or a little bit forward, and slowly bringing yourself up. Just noting how that feels. Awesome work, my friends. And from here, we are really going to work our hands as if they are the soles of the feet because our hands in yoga when they're on the earth they are like our feet so whether you are a complete beginner or beyond really tune into your hands activate and don't just jam your body into the pose I know I went through years of working out and practicing where I was mindless I was not connected to my body so really connect with your body really roll out the eyes with the elbows we're gonna exhale you have the option to do a plank here, my friends, 
from the knees, always option to stay on the knees or option to lengthen the legs long and really hollowing out the front body. And a plank, my friends, you really want to create that flat back by hugging in the core, hugging in that those abdominal muscles, really hugging through the thighs and through the glutes, my friends, as we breathe in a breath here and stay still, working through the shake and the burn and the resistance, breathing in a beautiful, peaceful breath for yourself, exhaling that out. Inhale, I am shaking, my friends. Finding peace sometimes can be hard. As I'm here practicing, it's sleet snowing outside, which kind of mixes things up too. For, on the next exhale, diving the sit bones high, high, high up to the sky and tuning in for your first inversion of the day. Maybe it's your first, maybe you've done a few and just allow yourself to just tune into what it feels like in your heels and the feet, what it feels like in the shoulders as you open up and extend through the shoulder blades here, really being mindful of those sit bones shooting high up to the sky. And taking a big peaceful breath into the back of the heart and pushing that out. Big peaceful breath into the back of the heart. Letting that go. From here, my friends, exhale, driving the right heel up high, high, high to the sky, tuning in through the core, and we're gonna inhale, driving in towards that plank into the center. Exhale, high, high, high to the sky, taking three of those, inhale to the center. Exhale, high to the sky, inhale to the center. Exhale, high. Now bringing the knee in towards the same elbow. Three of these, exhale, high to the sky. Inhale, cutting and slicing that knee in. I'll bring whatever this looks like for you, my friends, if you need to be more in a tabletop position. I should have offered that. You can do this. Tabletop, leg long, into center, leg long, elbow. Or you always have the option to come up. Now we're gonna cross to the opposite elbow. Three of these, two, one, I'm not sure where I am. Two, we've got this, three. Last one, driving heel high, high up to the sky, opening up that hip, opening that heart here, pausing for a moment. Big peaceful breath in, letting that out. Inhale and bringing that foot forward. I know when I first started practicing yoga, when people would do that, it would make me feel really uncomfortable. <laughs> I really did. So if you need to walk, 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 stepping that foot forward. From here, allowing yourself to set up like you are on a set of skis here, my friends. So on this set of skis, we're gonna power up through the core, bringing that core, awakening that core, bringing it to life. Awesome job, my friends. From here, my friends, we're going to inhale, raising those arms high, high, high to the sky. Soft back bend here, Anjaneyasana. Opening up the heart here. Option, if you would like to, you can power through as you root through the front foot and hind leg and really tone through the inner thighs. Coming up here. Gentle back bend, my friends. Bringing in a pretty peaceful breath for yourself. And allowing the peace out. Inhaling all the peace in. Inhaling the peace out. Inhaling that peace in. Exhaling, bringing palms, kissing palms to Anjane Mudra. Hinging at the hips, allowing that left arm to be on the outside like your left foot and your right foot. From the core, we're gonna exhale, twist. Option to bend at the elbow, option to bend at the knee. Always option to bend at the knee. Or bring it up if that feels good for you. Option to stack shoulders over shoulders. You can take a free expression here, a peaceful expression, which is why I fell in love with yoga. Is It's almost like this like dance of the body, the mind and the soul. And when you, you can allow yourself to tune in. Everything else just goes away. Good job. From here, coming to center, right hand on the outside of the right foot. Sometimes it can be really challenging for me if I don't have a block and I didn't grab mine. So I like to post up high on the fingertips or sometimes a fist can be good and you can exhale, twisting to the opposite side. 
I know that sometimes one side is going to feel better than the other. The other side is going to feel different, and that's okay. Bringing in a big breath into the heart. Letting that go. Good job working through the inner turmoil, the, the body burn. Knowing that movement creates motion. Motion creates ideas. It creates feelings and allows us to feel. It's really good opposed to just sitting around, exhaling. Both hands down to the earth. To the end. Exhale, dragging that foot high, high, high up to the sky. Dropping that hip one last time. Opening that hip up. Woo! And bringing it, floating that down to the ground, my friend. Ooh, I'm just feeling what that feels like. So we're going to tune it to the opposite side now, my friends. From here, we're really going to root that right foot, right heel towards the earth with a micro baby bend knee. Exhale, the left leg long. You're going to drop the heel, opening that hip up. And this three-legged dog. And your three-legged dog, taking a peaceful breath in. And allowing the peace out. Big peaceful breath in. From here, my friends, we're going to inhale, and if you need to, you can go to the knee. And remember, it's going to be three in the middle, leg long. You can go to the elbow, or if you would like, you can come into that. Set yourself up for success if your shirt's slipping. You can come into that three-legged dog. Inhale to find inner peace. Three in the center. Inhale. Exhale as you push up. Inhale as you tuck. Exhale as you push up. And then working on the same elbow. Exhale. Inhale to find strength. Exhale to find peace. Inhale as we strengthen. Exhale as we find peace. Opposite elbow. Inhale to find strength. Exhale to peace it out. Inhale for strength. Exhale for peace. We've got this. Sometimes yoga is hard. From here, we're going to inhale and journey, whatever that looks like, bringing that foot forward. So if you need to stop, banka, 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 walk it forward, my friends. From here, Anjani Asana, really rooting that front foot into the earth, the four corners, the hind foot, track back to the heel. Tune into your body. Where are you at? Where are you at in space? Where are you at on your mat from your core? Inhale, lifting up, option to stay down. Inhale, you can cactus the arms. Climb high. Exhale as you tip, hinging the heart back. You can inhale through the inner thighs. Strengthen, breathing in a peaceful breath for yourself. Exhaling, peace out. Inhaling all the peace in. Exhaling it out, my friends. You've got this. Sometimes it's hard, right? Exhale, hands on Janae Mudra. That's palms kissing palms like a prayer. We're going to hinge at the hips, folding forward. Bringing that right hand on the outside. Taking a pause here. Breathing an inhale. Exhale, twisting to the bent knee. Opening up one arm long and strong or option to bend here or option to stay down at the, the knee. And knowing that wherever you are on your mat, my friends, is okay. Yoga is a practice. It's not a perfect. And so is peace. Peace is a practice. I know so many of us, we yearn for peace. We wish that we had peace. For me, that's why I practice yoga. I practice meditation. I practice being present as we breathe that peace in. And knowing that it's here, it's always here. It's always available when we can tap into it. Good job, my friends. From here, opposite hand goes on the outside. So you can post up high. If you have that block, I'd recommend that where you can fist into the earth. Exhale, twisting, shoulders stacked over shoulders. Bend to the elbow if that feels good for you, my friends. We're doing hard things, just like the earth is, just like staying indoors is, it's hard. Just like going to the stores, searching for non-existent items. It's kind of hard, I don't know what it's like where you live, but where I live, it's kind of sparse and weird. The vibes are weird. And I know that me, as a human, I'm just sending love and healing, and I'm tapping into my inner peace. And I know that that will help create some more stability in the world, my friends. From here, exhaling, allowing both hands to frame on the outside of that foot, driving 
that heel high, high, high into the sky, dropping open that hip one last time. Three-legged dog here, opening of hip, opening of the heart, my friends. You have got this, rocking this out, and slowly bringing that down to the earth, my friends. And from here, from the core, just slowly bringing the knees down to the earth. Yes, please. <laughs> they feel so good. And from here, my friends, finding yourself back in that tabletop, returning here and maybe this familiar or not so familiar pose and allow yourself to find a little free expression. Just tuning into what, what's going on in your body. Maybe your hips are feeling a little tight. I like to do this move where I pick up from the quads and then just windshield wipe side to side. Strengthening through the core and freeing through the shoulder blades really just bringing that weight into the core and the glutes and yet finding a little freedom in the hips that feels really fantastic. Good job my friends. From here, option to swing the legs over to the side and allow yourself slowly to come to the sit bones however that looks like for you. It might take a little bit more time. Maybe you've already rocked it out. From here my friends we're going to allow the legs to walk in front of us and almost like a crab crawl so you're just putting the hands on the earth you're just walking a little bit forward and as you walk a little bit forward allow yourself to sit up very tall and release the hands by your sit bones finding yourself in the staff pose in a dandasana and allowing that length to grow allowing the legs if they need a more generous bend you can point the toes straight forward or you can point up to the sky just being kind and gentle with yourself breathing in a peaceful breath here and allowing it to go good job my friends from here rocking forward a little bit if you don't have a blanket and you would like one if you have hard floors i strongly recommend that you getting a blanket and from here allowing those legs to lay long and you can help yourself out with your on your knees here and just taking a moment just to find a little stillness and we're going to just lift one leg opposite leg so we're going to come in here for a boat pose so i know there's some people who can rock this out if you want to straighten you can straighten those legs out a little bit find that inner piece for me my hips are feeling like ouch and almost like holding the back of my my thighs is feeling really good. So really find this inner V, this inner strength as you fire up your core, my friends. And from here, we're gonna just lengthen one leg long and then the opposite. So you can use your hands to guide you. Find that inner strength, that inner peace through movement, through warming up, through the core. If your legs wanna go taller, if you need to put one down on the earth and do this one at a time, just tuning in to that inner fire. When there is a time for everything. There's a time for stillness. There's a time for movement. And just tuning in to the core and, and how it's working for you, my friends. Good job. And this last one, just pausing here and taking, we're gonna do three breaths. So breath, beautiful breath in, peaceful breath out. Breathing love in for ourselves. Breathing peace out. Breathing love in. Breathing peace out. Good job from here. Slowly, if you can, allowing that back to just rock down to the earth and maybe just taking a few rockabye babies. So that's why we've got this rockabilly. Whatever works for you. Maybe get a little playful here. I love these. Oh, it feels so good. Ha ha ha. Get playful. Maybe take three more of these. Just shake it on out. Woo! It almost makes you want to go like straight in for a plow. It's like, whoa, got that. <laughs> Even though we want to be safe in our plow, my friends. And on the last one, allow yourself to come a little bit stiller and boop, feet down to the earth. Holy moly, how are you doing? Good job, my friends. As we come down to the earth, just bringing one knee in towards the chest here. And bringing the opposite knee in towards the chest. 
chest. And you can have the option here, my friend, if you want to, you can do a double wind reliever. So that's just gonna be hugging both of the knees in towards the navel. You can rock side to side, or you have the option to take a happy baby. And this looks different for everyone, so you can just try it. You're gonna slice your hand in on the inside of the knee. Inside of the knee, you can reach on the outside of the foot, and you're bending at a 90 degree angle, or the inside of the arch, or you can pointer and middle finger hooks around the toe. So I know I have students who can only get to here. So that's just bending in towards the groin, that pelvic wall, and just staying here. I know my husband cannot even get close to reaching his feet. And so he kind of, we reach here. So if you need to, depending on your body, you can just open up the hips here and just flow side to side and just truly allow yourself to embrace what a happy baby means and if you can maybe closing your eyes and imagining a newborn baby actually let's creep that up to like a six month old baby in a diaper little chubby rolls baby dimples little hair fuzz maybe there's two bottom teeth and just the joy and the love just allow yourself to allow a smile to peel, unfold in your heart, and allowing it to, to unfold in your face, to roll the corners of your lips up, and smiling to yourself, smiling to the world. Good job, my friends. Because those happy babies are so stinking cute, even though we know, as parents, if you are one, are not always happy, but those moments when they are, it's just, it's pure joy. From here, just bringing the knees into the chest and inhale, hugging in and giving yourself a hug and telling yourself, good job, good job. And allowing yourself slowly to release down to the earth and allowing one leg to lay long and the opposite leg to lay long. You can allow the hands to rest up high. You can bring, if you need more grounding, the hands to the belly or the hands to the heart here as we allow ourselves relaxation. If you have a ponytail that's getting in the way, you can move that. Allow yourself just to settle here in this pose of surrender. And scanning, beginning at the feet and melting the toes, loosening the arches, relaxing the heels, melting at the calves. Letting go at the bend of the knee, melting through the thighs, allowing the glutes and the booty to just be opening at the hips and wrapping around the core and melting and relaxing each vertebrae into the earth. Relaxing the shoulders, melting the biceps, letting go of the triceps, allowing each fingertip just to soften, scanning up to the neck, relaxing the neck, melting the jaw, softening the tongue, deepening the cheekbones, allowing the eyelids to get heavy, letting go of the space between the brow and the intuitive space, letting go of the top of the head, and allowing your body to be here, to be relaxed, to be in a state of peace. As we come back to our intention, my friends, I intend on bringing peace.
vibration of the planet. We can help bring the love. We can help bring the peace. We can help bring the healing to our planet. And bringing palms, kissing palms, hide up wide open starfish hands to the heart center, my friends. The love and the light in me honors and acknowledges the love and the light in you. Namaste, my friends. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I'll see you back here very soon. I send you a hug and know that I love you.